Hey guys, so let me tell you about the BookBeam Keyword Research Tool. So the BookBeam Keyword Research Tool is a tool that is made to help you to both analyze and to understand different keywords and different niches on Amazon. And the way we built it is we built it in such a way that it actually takes data, fresh data, straight from Amazon. And I was actually very adamant about building it in that way. Why? Uh, the reason is because I wanted the data to be as fresh as it possibly can be. So, you know, it's, it's very new, it's very updated and fresh. And secondly, I want it to be as close to reality as it can possibly be. And so what will the keyword research tool show you? It will mainly show you the data points that fall under two main ideas. It will show you the key critical data points that indicate competition. So basically how competitive any given keyword is to help you to essentially understand, you know, what it will take uh, to rank on page number one, how hard or how easy it will be um, to help you to understand maybe there's something that you can improve, perhaps you can have better average reviews. And secondly, it will show you data that indicates demand for certain keywords, for books that fall under certain keywords. So two very critical things that, you know, that will help you to, to clarify things and will help you to make better decisions for, you know, yourself, your, your brand and your books and your publishing business. All right, so let's go over to the computer and I will show you exactly how it works. Okay, so the keyword research tool search actually starts on Amazon. It doesn't start in the web app, it starts on Amazon. So, and I'm going to make a search for coloring book, a very popular keyword. Um, and so then I'm going to open up the Chrome extension. I'll go over to the uh, keyword analysis side of it. And here we go. Here we're seeing a list of uh, the source keyword first and foremost, and then a list of related keywords based off of this source keyword, which in this case was coloring book. So um, it's already giving us this list. And what I can do is I can edit the keywords in this list if I would like to by clicking just the edit button right here, or I can clean, you know, I can clean this list up. Perhaps I'm not interested in many of these keywords. So I'll just go ahead and quickly do that. I'll just remove, you know, remove some keywords that are not really that, um, that interesting to me, just to make the list slightly more concise and we'll also make our search uh, slightly quicker. And then just click the get data button right here and the Chrome extension is going to start um, gathering the data for all of these keywords. It's going to actually start the search in the background. So, you know, I'm just going to be leaving this page and letting the Chrome extension to, you know, do its thing. And what is happening here actually whilst, you know, whilst the search is going on, it's actually sending all of this information already to your web app. So if we go over to our web app right here, we already see, we already see that some of the information is already, has already been populated over here. And all of these keywords that we chose in our list are, you know, are being processed by the, by the Chrome extension. So, and so we can already start analyzing this information. So what do we have here? So for the keyword coloring book, uh, what data are we seeing? So we're seeing that the number of competitors, overall number of competitors is, uh, you know, it's, it's high. It's 80,000 books that are competing for the keyword coloring book. Um, then next we're seeing the average rating, um, which is the average, you know, star rating. And by the way, this, this data that comes here is from the first three pages um, for, this, uh, for this search term right here. So, and out of the first three pages, you know, the average rating and the average number of re reviews is 1,693 for the reviews and for the ratings it's 4.7. What is that telling us? That's telling us that this, uh, that this keyword is highly competitive. It has a lot of average reviews, like, you know, close to, you know, close to 2,000 and the average rating is also very, very high. So it's already quite clear that, you know, competition here is high. Then we're seeing average price. This can be helpful for you to, you know, for you to decide how you want to price your own book. Do you want to be, you know, above average, below average? You know, this can again help you to get a better feeling for pricing. Then we're seeing average monthly sales. So Bookbeam estimates that it is a little over 4,000. So that's the average. This means that, you know, some books are going to be selling, you know, huge, very, very huge numbers and others are going to be below that 4,000 and it averages out to, for thousands. So here we're seeing that for this keyword, for the books that fall under this keyword, this niche, there are a lot of, a lot of monthly sales and the average monthly earnings again are, are, you know, are very high. Then next we're seeing the average ranking for pages one to three and that actually 3,400 is actually very, very high 
for an average. Remember, this is an average. So that's, that's very, very high. And then the last three things that we see here are the scores. So we're seeing three scores, market size score, which in other words would be just demand score, how much demand is there for, um, you know, for this niche and for this keyword. Then next, the competition score, how competitive is this keyword? And then last, which is basically a combination of the previous two scores, is the opportunity score. So the opportunity score looks at both the demand and the competition. And by the way, important to note that these scores are one to five. So they're one out of five. Uh, one being a low score and five being you know, the, highest, the highest score. And so here for this keyword, for the keyword coloring book, uh, obviously it's very high demand based on uh, these data points, all of these data points right here. And, but all, also at the same time, it is very high competition. So it's just placing it at a two out of, uh, out of, out of five. Uh, five would be you know low competition that would be you know uh, great for um, uh, you know a great opportunity so and so yeah here as I touched on about competition it's it's 80,000 and average number of reviews is very very high average rating is very very high so again it's very high in demand but it's it will be very challenging to rank uh, on page number one even pages one to three would be very challenging and then here you see all of the information for all of the keywords that we did over there in our, um, in our keyword research tool search over in the Chrome extension. Here we're seeing all of the data for all of these, um, for all of these keywords. And another pretty, you know, pretty neat feature, I would say, is that we, you know, if you wanna have a quick look at the results that show for each of these keywords very, very quickly, you would just you know, click any of these keywords and it will show you a very quick summary of all the books that um, are ranking for these keywords. So you see again, uh, essentially everything that you would see in the, in the BookBeam Chrome extension. All right, and so now let's search for a different keyword. Let's search for the keyword investing and we'll do a, a search that is slightly, um, slightly different as well. So I'm opening up the Chrome extension again. I'm going over to the keyword analysis tool side. And here again, we can, you know, we can clean some of, the, some of the keywords up, some of the ones that we perhaps are not interested in. Um, let's have a look. And this time I'm going to be selecting both books and both Kindle. So we'll see how, you know, how both of these formats stack up against each other for all of the keywords that are in this list. And so I'll go over back to the BookBeam web app, over to the keyword research tool side. And as you can see here, the keyword research tool actually hasn't deleted the previous search. So in case you want to keep this information for a little longer while, you know, uh, the, the keyword re the keyword research tool will actually save your, um, save your searches in different tabs and you can keep up to eight tabs here in your keyword research uh, tool. Okay, and so here we're already seeing that this, that this uh, the information for this keyword looks, um, looks slightly different. And so this icon right here indicates uh, Kindle books, you know, the data that's relevant for the format for um, the Kindle format. And this, uh, this icon right here indicates books. So here we're seeing that there are 20,000 different uh, books competing for the keyword to rank for the keyword investing and 70,000 print books. 20,000 Kindle, 70,000 print, uh, making up a total of 90,000. Then we're again seeing a breakdown between the price of the, um, the Kindle books, again, that are ranking for this keyword and the price for, um, and the price for the print books. It's very interesting, the average price for the Kindle books is actually very high. And then again, average monthly sales, average monthly earnings, and, and on and on. And uh, both of these data points for each of the formats. And whilst I've been talking, the Chrome extension has been diligently doing its job, gathering the data for us. And so then again, we're seeing all of the key data about all the keywords in our list here. We're seeing the scores that are helping us to interpret the data, helping us to understand it. Uh, you know, how is the demand? Is it high, high demand? Uh, is it highly competitive or not so competitive? And what is the uh, overall opportunity? How does the BookBeam um, keyword research tool, how does it rate the overall opportunity based on the data that it knows about the keywords? So yeah, guys, that is the keyword research tool. It's one of the, again, more complex tools in our tool set, uh, but we really went out of our way to make it, uh, you know, to make it function. We had a lot of challenges with this one, but you know, I'm very ab happy about where it is now. And you know, I have, you know, I have a lot of plans to where to take it um, in the future. So that's it for this, uh, for this showcase, for this walkthrough. 
and I will see you guys in the next, uh, in the next showcase videos, the next tutorials.